Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-6125. I know this video is coming out a bit late. I mean, it's already almost an hour late when I'm recording this. I'm sorry I took a little bit to get to making this video. <sighs> I've been a little bit tired after having my internet disappear for a few days. I'll talk about the reason for that when the time comes. <sighs> and I'm quite sure or some of you who are actually interested in my channel and content already might have noticed that I have a stream scheduled for the 23rd. That is probably my debut, kind of. With certain people gone from my house, I'm I'm going to be seeing if I can actually start streaming as I, I want to be from the very beginning. In a way, let's get right into this SCP because Reddit has officially ruined itself by basically installing puppet moderators into communities to basically not allow people to protest their crap. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe back to the channel. Now let's get into this. I have number 6125, level 2 restricted. Oh, the PNG didn't load. <laughs> oh well. Contain class, esoteric, secondary class, uncontained, disruption class, dark, risk class, notice. Assigned site, site 36. Site director, Dr. Xavier. Research head, Dr. Stevens. Assigned MTF, SCF row 7, greeting party. Hereby referred to as greeting party. Special containment procedures. The non-physical nature of SCP-6125 means containment is currently impossible. By the name of this SCP is the High Taught Theorem. Obviously, I'm going to feel like it's very familiar because I already read it yesterday, but had to re-record this video for reasons. Anyway. Due to the prevalence of SCP-6125 in A instances and their involvement in other SCP subjects, extra containment is of low priority. All the newly discovered instances of SCP-6125 A are to be reported to RISA and from the investigation is performed by the greeting party. Description SCP-6125 is the structure of our current reality known as a high toth. SCP-6125 is composed of several distinct layers of reality, tens uh, tentatively designated as realms. These realms all have the same characteristics and baseline rules. Some realms can contain some sub elements, parts of reality that have been cut off from the rest of the realm and require specific routes to access. Unlike separate realms, these sub inherit traits of their associated realm, a notable Example is the pocket universe containing the city of three Portlands. SCP-6125-A are commonly known as ways. SCP-6125-A are naturally occurring spatial distortions, often thermatological in nature, allowing long distance travel between realms and subdomains via the transfer of reality. Whilst travel between subdomains and realms have no visual difference, SV6125A insists accessing other realms haven't found to leave trace tachyons on any matter passing through. A list detailing all known SV6125A instances can be acquired from Ryza. Below, case studies have been compiled for each of the three realms. These case studies have been arranged by average human level descending. The first realm, where the two. This realm is called Hyriel. Its average human level is 270 humes. And yes, as a unit of measurement, not an 8 at the end there. 
I made that mistake yesterday. Anyway, these subdomains are Alagata and the force of the nameless. There is currently no unknown oh, ways to access the main realm of of Hyrule. However, the its two known subdomains are extensively documented. This can be found below. Owing to the potential threat posed by rea reality altering beings located in this realm, all exploration for inhibited and any new SP-6125 instances discovered are to be immediately contained. Researcher notes, due to the abnormally high levels of reality present within this realm, it can be theorized that Hyrule has been altered by higher being in the past. Currently in investigation of SCP-8264-5 is being carried out. However, due to the presence of both the Fey and the Nameless, intervention on their part is also being considered. We will over into Alagata at another time. We've already read about the forests that shall not be named. <sighs> Realm, Dries. Average human level, 120 humans. Description. Dries is a realm colloquially known as the Dream World. This realm is primarily split along the Honorary Collective and the Honorary West. There are several other small groups, no known subdomain exists within this, this realm. The research by MTF Omicron wrote, Oh, the Dream Team is ongoing. There are no, no known instances of SCP-6125 leading to the Dries. The only known methods to access Dries are currently via the use of dream manipulation or utilizing the prototype ASCI, which is Arc Spatial Dream Interface device. Dries is, as far as we can tell, built solely upon the dreams of Sabian beings due to the constantly shifting nature of said subject matter, its realm appears rather unstable. However, Due to the presence of the honoroi and the shared dream contents of certain individuals, Dries is far more stable than initially perceived. We will read about honoroi at another time. Third realm. This realm is base reality. The average human levels of base reality is 79 humans. Now you know what is what it is supposed to be like, the natural human level, which is 79. The subdomains are the Free Forts and the Wanderers Love Library. The base realm is the most well documented, as well as being the home of the majority of humanity. We live in it. Due to the high population of intelligent life in this realm, there are a significant number of both natural and entity built subdomains, many already documented by the Foundation. We will read a bit more about the Nexus database at another time. Fourth row, Adelivan. Average human level is 52. Subdomain ends are Corbenic. Alike to Hyrule, there are currently no, no means of access, accessing the main realm of uh, Adelivan. Due to its nature, communication with Adelivan's sole known subdomain, Corbenic, is tenuous. Three currently, three foundation personnel are in contact with the foundation from within Corbenic. Ex extrapolating from Corbenic, Adelivan is assumed to be a realm housing multiple. Afterlives. Because of the difficulty to contact the Foundation for Still after their deaths, the amount and time of afterlives are unknown. Researcher notes. Ethical concerns raised by the ethics committee have put exploration of Corbenic on temporary hold. We will be reading SCP-2922 at another er, er, time. The addendums. And with my inability to will be stopped by things like O5 command, I can immediately access these addendums. I have number 61 to 25, level 5, top secret. Container class, Keter. Secondary class, uncontained. Disruption class, Eki. Risk class, critical. <sighs> Astral view of the landmass above SCP-6125 Omega. Assigned site, Site 36. Site Director, Dr. Xavier. Research Head, Dr. Stevens. Assigned MTF, the Greeting Party. Special Criterion Procedures. If residue tachyons are discovered emanating from 
from the SCP 8625 A instance, SV fence off enemy, get exploration, investigation and exploration of the instance is performed by the greeting party. That is the only part we haven't already read, which I will be skipping as we already have that information. SCP-6125 Omega designates seven metal pillars arranged in a circle, 25 meters in diameter, located below the uninhabited island of, of Milland in eastern Greenland. SCP-6125 Omega is primarily composed of magnetite, along with trace amounts of organic material. Each of these pillars is inscribed with inscriptions resembling ancient Davite texts. They rise to be a precursor or language. Each of these pillars has been shown to be an artificially constructed way leading to one of the known seven realms. Current High Taught Starting with the second realm. Hyrule, Subdomains, Alagada. Average human level 270 humes. Description Hyrule is a desertified des land. Despite the signs of civilization in the form of stones, formations, and towers have been found, currently no sapient life has been found by MTF exploration teams. The numerous insect species not native to the base realm have been discovered. Based on the inhabitants of Hyrule's known subdomains, the consensus from the occult studies department is that the Hyrule's main realm was home to a species of reality bending humanoids, wiped out by an XK class event. Due to the lack of developed infrastructure found, it is likely that said humanoids are equivalent to 12,000 BC technology. Though, due to the potential abundance of reality bending individuals, it is unknown if any later technology was maybe wiped out of the realm. The third realm is Trias. Obviously, we got lied to about what realm is what. And the average human level of Trias is 120 humes. <sighs> we already read the Ivan part, so we're skipping to this. Because of certain unique circumstances, O513 is currently spearheading any investigations to Trias. Researchers with level 5. I've clear and may contact Reza uh, to facilitate a connection to O513 when necessary. The fourth realm is base reality. Average human level is 79. And we've already read everything there is in this. The fifth realm is a living with an average human level of 52. Actually, it's not the fifth. It is the fifth realm. Good. So domains, Corbanic. Description. A Livon is a pine forest strata in dense fog. While well, it's into to Odlivon is possible, all except herbal matter brought out into the realm decays at an exponential rate. Only a circle 12 kilometers around the entrance is currently mapped. While well, the rate of decay is significant at this point, a river surrounding 12 kilometer area is made issue for prohibiting exploration. All agents who tried crossing the river were lost in the fog, and communication was lost. And that's all we haven't read of this. We haven't read anything of the previous high top remains, which includes the first realm, known as the Great Waste, with an average human level of 1200. Subdomains unknown. Description. The Great Waste is characterized by a flat, inky floor stretching for miles in each direction. Giant black spires, riding mass, and warped shapes can be seen in the distance. These entities have been seen to shift and disappear at points seemingly at random. The Great Waste is prone to extreme reality fluctuations. This causes tears in reality to open up often, destroying swaths of the ground matter. It is unknown where these reality tears lead, as no lost personnel have returned. Analysis with a agents and GADs, which is General analysis devices. That's just lazy and not even worth acronyming, honestly. Shows an extremely high level of acuba irradiation, especially near any black ruts. 
Despite no visible danger, all agents reported feeling troy breath and under extreme pressure whilst exploring the Great Ways. Two agents also those odd sounds, the eating black girls, including grinding of cogs, repeated chanting, and gasping. The next realm of the previous high thought is the sixth realm, known as Tumulus. The average human level here is 32. The subdomains are unknown. Description Tumulus appears to be an ancient battlefield, with much of the ground being pitted in its guard and even turned to glass at points. Numerous large, partially preserved of creatures and skeletons are scattered across the realm, as well as a few primitive mechanical constructs, many with blunt force as impacts. Many of the entities are quadrupedal, though a large proportion of the O's possess extra limbs or appendages, likely used for combat. Aside from flares brought by exploiting MTF or SCF agents, the main source of lighting within Tumulus is multiple gigantic spider versions of anglerfish, which appears to be SCP-5005. We can read that another time, though. It's another one that keeps the lights active, despite their hosts being long dead. The human level in specific areas is relatively stable, though fluctuates over large distances. And this is likely due to a large area of reality, uh, reality bending. In addition, certain areas within Tubulus have special characteristics, such as the slowdown of time, as well as lower gravity. Research notes. One side of the battle seemed to have sustained far larger damage than the other. Due to the activity in the Great Ways, it can be assumed entities residing in the higher realms had greater fire our thus surviving. This suggests that there was a potential uprising against higher planes, but the reason for this is unknown. A reason put forward by Dr. Stevens is that it may be due to the noted increase in human levels for higher realms. Though further research to prove this hypothesis is needed. And finally, we have the seventh realm, Icarusium. The average human levels of this realm are at 21. These subdomains are unknown. The description is not available. Research into a, a Carusium is ongoing. As of uh, April 21st, 2037, SCE, I mean, the Green Party have entered SCP-6125 Omega. This entry will be updated as soon as data is retrieved. If you have any issues with this file, please contact Ryza's staff. Fortunately, we cannot because technically I'm not supposed to be reading these as a, I'm kind of an anomaly myself. So contacting any SCP staff will just get me caught. Anyway, I love the freaking you know, thing. Anyway. On the discovery of SCP-6125 Omega, access to all known main realms was found to be possible. SCP-6125 Omega also allowed access to three new realms. These realms contain reality fundamentally different from all previously known examples. The cube level in these new Though realities has been shown to exhibit extreme levels of fluctuation, coupled with discoveries from both Great Wastes and Tumulus, it is highly likely that these realms are remnants from a previous high thought. For an investigation into the ruins on the pillar of SCP-6125 Omega by the Occult Studies Department, have shown that they are potentially preventing the formation of waste to previously unknown three realms. Addendum 2. Three days after the entry into OSCF Row 7. Several transmissions were received and have been attached below. Sir, James and Sam on again. I think, think they've fully got to him now. We've fully got to him now. Probe out of his misery. We can't have him coming after our backs. Not with these fuckers attacking. Take revenge for us. Our mind too. 
dump scrape. Damn, these guys are at a whole other level compared to the normal screamers. They used us as slaves, small cogs in a bigger machine. We find. Did the command say what happened to this place? Nope, all I know is apparently we are the first combat team in here. Even the higher ups of new more, we weren't informed. Use us freaking guinea pigs again. Let us in. Sam, how much food we will feed you? We got left. Sam, he is ours now. Ah, shit, he had most of the equipment too. Good luck to the. Uh, next, more? Four sods I said into here. Not much else to do other than keep walking. Join us and hope for something interesting. <sighs> and now we have our story to read. Scratch, scratch. Another notch added to my water bottle. 27 in total now. Been running low on food for a while. It will be gone soon. Not like any unwanted companions will give me any. Any of my unwanted companions, sorry. Amusingly, their incessant wreck echoed is what keeps me going. With that, I'd probably have ended up like John, rocking back and forth, slowly crying, trying to find peace in this hellscape. Talking of that, it's odd. With the proper light source and the lack of the fucking demons on my back, I'd have probably found this place fascinating. Although it isn't anything like modern society, they've got the remnants of a town down here. A species used to live here, though my wonder quickly fades, stepping on the bones of some forgotten creature. Its sharp snack at bringing me back to my senses. The screaming of join us and revenge echoing in my ears. Humanoid skeletons are strewn across the ground, like a discarded children's toy, forgotten and left to decay for all of eternity, until my big fucking feet land on them, that is. I've seen a lot of churches too. That seems to be a big part of this place. Lots of fucking huge, creepy churches, dedicated to God knows what. <laughs> Get it? Not that I wouldn't love for a god to swoop down and give me a small helping hand. Considering what this place is like currently, they can't have been great gods. There also seems to be some kind of collar on most of the bodies. Around the necks, usually. Engraved with some fancy symbols, like those on a pillar before we entered here. Though, I didn't understand much of what the scientist folks said before we entered. I understood that this was a previous world of some sort, one prior to ours. History seems to fascinate some people. I never really got the charm. Past is the past for a reason, right? Thinking about the bones, those poor sods were probably slaves. Caller should have given it away, but I'm not exactly in the best mind to think right now. The screaming bastards in my ears are probably either unhappy ghosts. Seems like excessive to pick on a random who was just having a look, though. Perhaps that's what a millennia of anger does. Slaves to what? I have no idea, though. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of workplaces in any of the towns I pass. No food either, unfortunately. Not that I was expecting to find any. But it's always good to have hope. There are occasional lulls in the endless noise. Kinda eerie, really. Like those things are planning something. I must feel at home in the TV static screams now. Amusingly, once something specifically is taken away for a long period of time, it's hard to adjust to it being back. On top of their incessant voice, they seem to hate whenever I go near any of the churches. Weird given they built so goddamn many of them. I thought I'd try paying at one yesterday. Passed out before I could get in inside. Felt like my head was in a tightening vice. I could feel the hunger pangs gnawing at my stomach. Got no food left, just check. Drinking the last of the water, alright, God can only do so much. 
tired or severe to the focus of my I had or die of hunger and thirst. <sighs> Whenever I pass out, I get these weird visions of small humanoid creatures hunched over and colored. They seem at peace in their giant churches. It ends up calling me slightly too. If anyone reads this, don't try don't try to mess with the guys in the highest reality plane. Most of them will tear you lip from lip whilst laughing laughing at your mangled corpse. I'm seeing swaths of death before my eyes, giant formless beings with bright red eyes sweeping across the land. They will pay, 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 they will pay. I'm barely able to stay conscious, so someone better be fucking listening. It feels like thousands of red and hot needles slowly being pushed into my skull. These things had a church built to worship them, but they were no god. Demon scum. They will pay, 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 they will pay. The elders are maniacs of the power of gods. They enslaved the entire races to generate a key of radiation and, and obtain unbridled power. The greatest version of our universe collapsed due to an uprising against them from what I saw, which only sort of worked. Currently, they are all healed in the highest reality plane, but certain ones have, gi have gained followings on Earth. I'm sure you know the groups I mean. If those things can enter, you are fucked. I doubt I'll, I'll, I'll wake again. The memories given to me are nearing their measurable end. SCF Rose 7, Dan Fisher. They will pay, 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 they will pay. And that was SCP-6125. I've. If you enjoyed that, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And please do remember that on the 23rd of June, that's this month by the way, I will be hopefully starting my debut stream. So from here until then, I will be trying to improve my schedule so that more videos come out on time rather than as late as today's video is. Anyway, I will see you again tomorrow. Until then, goodbye!